Now that all my inserts are made, it's now it's time to to lay off on my scope. So what I do is I, I do this in the house, you know, and I do it at night when it's really dark because you don't want any light anywhere in the room. So you want you want a light source to be as far away from this as possible. So what you do is get a lamp from your house and set it down the hall, across the basement. The farther the better, really. The farther the better, the clearer you'll have everything in the end. So what I do is I have a piece of aluminum here. It's a piece of angled aluminum. And I turn the piece of scrap aluminum that I had, drilled, drilled the center so I can mount it on a tripod. I also cut a V in it so that I can mount, that I can set my angle in there so it held everything nicely in place and it's not leaning on one side or the other. So, once I have this mounted in my room and I have the light on as far away as I can, what I do is I take a small aluminum roller and I lay it in here and I make sure everything goes off, all my measurements start from one side and goes to the other. So, back here is where my eyepiece will go. So I make sure my ruler is all the way back and flush. Okay. Now what I, I have my inserts here on the bench. This is my 279, which will be my my objective. And that's the one that'll be closest to the target. Now, I've already predetermined my length of scope that I like to have. I know I want a 30 inch scope. So I do to take my, my 279, which is my objective lens, and I'll set it up here and I make sure that the front edge of the lens is at 30 and then I'll take my 35 here which would be my eyepiece now I place this plush against the back here like so alright now when you look between these two the, the object that you, the, the light bulb will be upside down and what the rector does is it actually makes it right side up or makes it you know correct so what I do is I take the erector and I just set it in here anywhere, anywhere close to the objective. What I, I know I have to move it. So once I have it set in here like this, I'll turn the light off in the room, make sure all the lights are off. That the only one that's left on is the one light bulb that's all the way down at the other end of the house or you know the other end of the room at least. I sight through my my eyepiece here. Okay, and I'll take my fingers and I'll slide this along, nice and slowly. And the, as I get back, as I get farther away from this, it'll, it'll actually start to clear up. It'll all be a blur, you won't be able to see anything. But then all of a sudden, it'll start to clear up. You know, and it, as soon as it happens, it's going to be almost instant. It's not much area in between. So, nice and slowly drag it back. And once it starts to clear up, I'll keep moving it until... I'm looking at the light bulb and I usually try to aim at the base of the bulb so it's not blinding me. And I, I, I keep an eye on the details. And when I can see all the details pretty clear, I'll leave it there and I'll turn the light on in the room. And what I'll do is I'll take a measurement to, to the groove that we've placed in the outside of the cell. So it says 21. We'll use that number. So I write that down. And then what I do is I turn the light back off in the room. And I'll actually slide it back farther. And you'll, you'll keep sliding and all of a sudden it'll start to clear up again. But you'll notice that there's no magnification. It's just like you're looking through the tube at the light bulb. And as long as I see that, I know that i found the correct spot that I have. Uh, I'm in the correct spot for the magnification of the, of the scope. So I'll go back up to 21. Place it right on my groove. And I'll look through it again. It should still be clear. If it's not, then you didn't do... You know, it, it wasn't the correct spot, so you just move it around a little bit and make sure that it's clear, and, and then recheck your number. Okay, what you do is your crosshairs. Your crosshairs go about two, about two inches from the end. So set them in, right in there somewhere on the groove. Turn the lights back out. Look through your scope, and you want to pull it back and forth a little bit. And you want what you want to do is you want to make them nice and dark. Okay, you, so they're not fuzzy or they're a nice crisp dark line. And once once you've found that position, you've actually laid out your scope. You can turn your lights on, and all your measurements that you take from this edge will be where the groove is on the cell. Okay, so this one's I go back in half an inch, 
and that's where my groove is. So that's when I go out to the shop and I go to drill my tooth, I drill it a half inch from the end, and I know my line will be right there, and I can actually, once I slip this inside the tube, I'll move it until it, until it lines up, and I know I'm in the right spot. And I'll do that to all the same. So this is as two inch on this groove. This one's 21 on this groove, and this one's 29 and 9 sixteenths. And you take all your measurements from here back. You don't start this end for one and this end for another one. You make them all the same. It makes it easier. You don't get messed up in your math or any of your layout work. So you start from this end and work your way to the front.